So I'm currently filming a different video, which is part of my moving series, and I don't know when that video is going to go up, but I just know that this video needs to go up before that video. So I figured while I'm upstairs and I'm with the star of the show, that I would film the video for that now. Come here, cha -cha. We rescued a kitten! This is Charmander, but we call her Char-Char. We're pretty sure it's a girl. We aren't 100% certain yet, but she has a whittle collar and a whittle bell, and she is a tabby calico mix because she's a tabby, but she has a white belly, and she has white feet, and she's got orange on her back. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. We love her so, so, so much. And we did rescue her, slash adopt her, slash save her, whatever you want to call it. She doesn't like being held like this. Now, the one thing I don't want to get is a bunch of comments that are people are like, oh, you bought your dog, so you saved your cat. Okay, cool. Um, that's not the situation at all. It's not because I want to please you guys. This is my life and my choices. And Brandon is definitely a cat guy. He absolutely loves cats. And unfortunately, we did have a cat, which I want to do a little tribute in this video. Char Char, what do you want from me? What do you want to do? Do you want to play? Oh God. Do you want to play with it? She loves playing with her toys. Um, we did have a cat. Uh, that was also a rescue, but he unfortunately passed away when we were moving. Um, when we lived in the apartment, he didn't really get along with the dogs, so we um, decided to give him to the lady that we rescued him from to sort of get him with all of her animals and introduce him and just watch him while we moved because we wanted it to be a situation where the dogs were here and this was their territory that he would be invading in versus the dogs invading his territory because male cats are a lot more territorial. And since it was just a one bedroom apartment, it was a really small space. That was the plan. Unfortunately, our reno is still going on, but we were at the point where our reno was done enough that we were ready to bring him home. And we had messaged the lady that was watching him and she informed us that he was unfortunately very, very sick and she was taking him to the vet. She was doing all the precautions. Like she was putting so much money into this cat and I'm so upset not only for us but for her because she really was trying to save this cat for us because she knew how much he meant to Brandon and to me. So they were at first thought it was liver failure um, and he perked up and was doing absolutely amazing and there's so much improvement. They were so happy and then he just started collapsing. It all went downhill. He was full of fluids. He got really, really, really sick and um, he passed away and they found out that it was pancreatic cancer. So there was nothing that they could have done anyway. She was tube feeding him. She had him um, in his own room, isolated to like watch him. It just, you know, she did everything. She had ultrasound, she had x-rays, she had so many vet appointments, she had medicine, she was tube feeding, she had her schedule rearranged for him. Here's a little montage slash tribute to our old cat, Booger. Um, we only had him for six months, but um, Brandon loved him and gave him the best life possible in those six months. She's like trying to eat her cat food. Come here. So here's a little tribute to Booger. You've never been on my YouTube channel either. This is Booger. He's a puppy cat.
We actually rescued this girl the same week that Booger unfortunately passed away and we found out about him passing away. So we're really sad that his last days weren't with us and I just hope that he knows that we still loved him. We did take him and bury him, but we have Char Char now. We do call her Char Char, but she's named Charmander because Cinder, his middle name is Quill, so her name is like Cinder Quill, which is like Cinder Quill, the fire Pokemon. So we have another fire Pokemon, Charmander, which is my favorite Pokemon. And she is so full of life. She's so, so playful. She's so hyper and crazy. And she absolutely loves, like, this is her upstairs. She loves being upstairs. She doesn't really come downstairs that much, but she's starting to now. She's adjusting. As far as we know, she's healthy. There's no worms. We don't see any issues with her. Um, her mom did not make it. Her mom passed away and she was there with her mom and Brandon's family found her and then Brandon said, you know, I want a cat and we took her home. Uh, we already have her plans to get fixed uh, made, so she will be getting fixed when that time comes. Uh, we already have that prearranged. She's gonna get her first vet visit and her vaccinations because we think that she's eight weeks old. We aren't sure, but we're, we're pretty confident that she's at least eight weeks old, so she should be able to start getting vaccinated. So we're gonna do that after Christmas because Brandon is going to use his Christmas money that he gets to take her to the vet. Again, here's Char Char. Hi Char Char! We thank you Char Char! We brought you home! Look at the cute little kitty, you said you're a good girl. She purrs so loud. Can you guys hear it? She purrs so loud. But she's super active, she absolutely loves playing, she plays with her toys, she's a really independent cat. And she and Cinder are okay. I think Charmander is starting to set the boundary that like when enough is enough you need to leave me alone. Um, but Cinder loves cats, she's obsessed with cats, and since Charmander won't play with her, she's like really confused like why this cat won't play with her when I take her to my cousins for play dates and she plays with the cats constantly. So I think she's a little confused. So this is Charmander. We brought Charmander home and we love Charmander. And I just wanted to make this video to sort of like document this and to also give Booger his tribute that he deserves. I didn't really want to just make a tribute video for him because I felt like people would be like, what the hell is this? So I figured that it'd be appropriate that like the end of one life brings a new sort of thing. Like I feel like this was just a message, like this was just meant to happen that since we lost him, we found this little one and we saved this one. And she has so many characteristics like Booger. She is just as feisty as Booger. She loves to eat like Booger did. And um, this is Booger's favorite playhouse over here. And when we brought all of his stuff home to her to use, um, she went in it first. And like I said, it was the same week. It's like, I feel like everything was meant to happen and these things happen for a reason. And we tried our best with Booger and we gave him the best life possible for the short amount of time that we had him. He was uh, rescued because our friend is a real realtor and she went to this house and noticed the cat outside, knew that the people were leaving the house and selling the house. And she asked them if that was their cat. They told her the backstory. She said, you know, long story short, are you gonna take this cat with you when you move or not? Because I will take it home and I will find it a good home. And they said, no, we're gonna take it. So she went to the house officially when they moved out and he was sitting on the porch. So they abandoned him. And so she brought him home, posted him on Facebook. Nobody wanted him and we decided that we would take him because Brandon, again, is a cat guy. He wanted a cat so bad and we rescued him. And then while we were moving, knew that she would be the best person because she rescues animals all the time to watch him. And then she just did us a favor by trying to, you know, make him healthy and everything. Something that I don't think we could have done because when she saw the signs, I, I would have never known that those were signs for something. I wouldn't have even thought of those things or like noticed those things because she said his ears were yellowed and his eyes were really white or something and that's why she took him to the vet and that's how they found out about his liver but then he ended up having cancer. It's just unfortunate. But we have this little blessing now and she's so cute and we love her and you will see Char Char in some vlogs, but not really as much as you'll see Cinder, I don't think. She likes to chill and just play and be up here by herself. She loves cuddles, loves cuddles, and she's still purring. <laughs> Say hi, Char Char. So, yeah. 
This is Char Char. We rescued a cat and I just wanted to introduce her. And this will probably be her only video that's like just her versus like Cinder will have other videos because again, this isn't a pet tube channel. I'm just, I make videos on whatever I want, whenever I want, and I don't limit myself. I love you guys. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out. Ooh, peace out, Girl Scouts. Boom. You didn't cover it up all the way. I'll do it.